Today, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. Today, we are reporting live at PRI in Indianapolis, Indiana. We came out here to meet Jason Kennedy over at Trackside Systems. For those of you that have been watching the show for a long time, Jason is one of our authors in our previously published book. And spoiler alert, Jason, we're going to be doing a book together, another book. This is going to be for a motorsports edition of Mission Matters. I'm really excited and thrilled about that. Jason, first off, hey, I just want to say I'm welcome to your show because this is your booth. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Welcome to PRO. Thanks for your control. All right, Jason. So lots of cover here today. I just left one of your one of your informational sessions where you had other track owners that were there that used the track side system. Tell us a little bit more about that and what that how that went. Uh, yeah, we had our first ever uh, trackside user group meeting. So um, there was a group of customers that have been on the system. Some of them were free and new and haven't even started using it yet. Others have been on it for a couple of years or so. And so it was a good chance for them to share experiences of what they're doing and kind of learn from each other. In addition to talking about new features we have coming out, all that kind of stuff. So one of my goals here, and I've been talking about this with our audience for a long time, one of my goals here is that I want to open up motorsports to the rest of the world that aren't necessarily used to coming to events like this, like PRI, and maybe just haven't gotten involved with motorsports. Jason, how long have you been coming out to PRI? Uh, this is my, I think, sixth year coming to the show. Uh, second year actually having to be with the full exhibitor, so... Um, I've been around this show. I've heard about it forever. Everybody in the industry knows about it. Everybody not in the industry doesn't, though. So, um, probably most people would never guess that there's a all score team literate exhibitor fan show and shuts down the city of Indianapolis every December. And we uh, heard a huge event. Everybody who's anybody in Notre Dame is here, and this is where deals get done. So some of the things that we've talked about really is how you got started with trackside and really the trackside story. Um, you were originally a, a racing enthusiast yourself before launching trackside, right? Yeah, so um, I did a lot of road course driving um, and still have to this day a high performance driving school business, uh, but the trackside software was actually built to run that business and now it's its own product. Uh, people asked us if they could buy our software and. We said no until we said yes, and, and now we're here, and that's that's the bigger part of what we do now, and it, uh, it's really exciting. We'll see it. And, and so this year, what are you looking forward to at PRI? Uh, just continuing to build new connections. Uh, there's a lot of people that and we've known for a long time that introduce us to uh, to make people want to know about going to these trips. Um, I think we're going to cleanse CGLs here unless they do customers to get it's always great to meet base to base. They're especially to drink far away, like Alaska Raceway Fire. I don't know. We don't get to Alaska very often to see all the over there, but um, it's always nice to get to see our customers, our rice, that are more equipped by our design. Papa's top. I think I have a show later on in the schedule, right? Yeah. Yeah. So will be an author in the upcoming book and about uh, we'll do an interview and we'll. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know Michelle was from Alaska. Come on, now we're we're, we're moving here now. Yeah. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure out how to get out there, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's well, she claims, and I agree with her. It's the most beautiful racetrack in the world. Wow. He, he, uh, can you go down her drag strip? By the way, she has a NASCAR track and the drag strip. Um, but when you go down the drag strip, it looks like you're going right into the race. Wow. It's incredible. Wow. Well, I'm looking forward to that as well. So, as you, what what does the rest of your schedule look like over at the event? Uh, it's it's a full full day for me and a couple of days. Um, a lot of meetings. Uh, we're here stationed outside what's called the Tops and Quarters, which stands for track owners, promoters, for the sanctioning bodies. So it's a lot of our customers and a lot of potential customers for us. And that uh, different aspects of the industry have different sessions. So there's a road course roundtable where all road course tracks talk. There, I had on session where I'll you actually share tips and tricks to plan your senior times and fun like all that kind of stuff so we're part of a lot of that action and I'll uh, also have meeting will in the uh, prax crack and curse with all episodes you know you just a ton day like a few days and you also have so you can talk about track side system maybe tell us a little bit more about the Drake of uh, the driving school you have also uh so uh we operate our driving school it's called no interest but no found for you to try to put that we teach people how to drive their cars on a road course racetrack, so 
about the elevator out to outer square and send that and the so you got an earth one minus car and you know maybe you're tired of getting tickets or the you know, and maybe you shouldn't be driving it the way you are on the street bring it to the track uh we can teach you all the driving skills if you think you can drive fast on the street it'd be very humble on the track there's a lot to learn and they could have a ton of fun with it but it's something anybody could do with that e-car uh, but uh, for many of those before his cars, the skills now come with Albert. He did. So for the audience out there that maybe haven't attended an event like this or been to a PRI, what would you tell them about why they should come and why they should be involved? Uh, it's just, you can learn everything motorsports. Uh, it is an industry show, so you have to be alienated at some point with the industry that if you reach out to it for your local racetrack or um, anybody you know in the end of three days, they can get you access uh, to come here. Uh, there's everything for uh, the tracks themselves do a little bit of promotion here, but it's really about the suppliers of the industry and a lot of what I don't know is that so our software providers like us growth, they're just timing systems, they're engine holders, and there's just everything you can think of, chassis, uh, oils, all the products and soon both tire companies, performance brake companies shock suspension you know, all the actual farts you can be everything you need to actually put on it it's in that let's talk a little bit about this book we're launching together so i'm excited for it i don't know i don't know if this book has ever been done before so talking about racetrack owners and also racetrack enthusiasts and their stories how they got involved with racing and like what 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 brought them into the sport um what are your ideas for the books tell me a little bit more about your vision for that so there's a ton of books and other publications about actual racing stories. So they add like we have racing, but nobody there talks about what those other motor track or uh, owners and working on deserves and all the behind the scenes stuff are large. That's what I liked and liked about the concept we're doing us. That's kind of pulling back the curtain and we get to see the eyes on and the lady of sack. How do they pull out events? How do they decide what events to have? All those different things. So there's tons of little and sleepy nits. We're going to let me probably all the authors that are e and it would be really. And so as we've been, as I've been researching this and you've been educating me on this industry, a lot of these are family businesses, right? Like these are families. So we think about, we have a big business owner, entrepreneur, and executive audience and a lot of different businesses you go into. These are family businesses, many of them, right? Almost every single racetrack um, is a smaller band, but we're not talking about uh, Virginia and NASCAR tracks, things like that. We're talking about and you're eating a lunch, so you're a, a circle track or a during track or yeah. anything like that. Uh, we have all of these are typically a, a family endeavor. They've been around forever. Um, there's probably one in your own backyard and you don't even know it. I mean, we've been out a lot. Simon is track over and say we've been here 60 years and there's still people that are like, we had no idea here. I mean, that's, you know, the MLI is a wet or hurt show. If you're interested in all in motorsports, just and on Google Maps, type in racetrack that you don't find in there out. Uh, that's amazing. And one of the things that you're doing at Trackside is you're really helping these, you know, business owners bring and digitize their businesses as well to bring them into the into the modern age so that they have a better user experience for their clientele as well. Maybe tell us a little bit more about that. So what's kind of strange is uh, very sports has been a little on the world a bit a lot of time. Uh, it, it's, it's just fallen very behind which are here technology. Uh, so my background, I spent 20 years in, in corporate technology and I've dedicated myself to, to motorsports now. I, and uh, when I go and I see even McDonald's, there's kiosks or the food or or is there an app and all that. Motorsports doesn't have any of it. And also if you built tracks, I had to solve. So now I'm, uh, in order to attack the younger people and bar people in the motorsports, they do best awesome way that auto cost down when I get away. That's what we're here to do. So you buy your tickets online to events. You can do all the papers and paperwork ahead of time, but online digitally through Trackside. Um, and that's what we bring to the industry. Yet is that during the solution uh, for online on the site, it's all the technology that a track needs for that and operation with And when I think about like user experience and efficiency, so maybe to juxtapose that, like let's just say prior to track I maybe a lot of these tracks or either, you know, accepting cash, maybe they still do, so that's okay, but maybe there was a long line that they had to wait in, or, or there was the inefficient processing that made it so we were like, ah, what well, didn't make racing quite as appealing to the younger audience that are maybe, you know, using their phones to, you know, buy a movie ticket, right? And talk a little bit about that. 
Yeah, so probably the number one complaint uh, going to a grassroots track was the way they've always get hung is people just show up at the gate and have your cash and then you want a ticket or a wristband for entry. Um, but that takes forever. So you have to handle cash and you've got to ask every single person at the gate, oh, can you take it to a need to register to raise? The nutrients were not to where that's all handled ahead of time. You go online, scan your QR code ticket, and you're in. And so um, our biggest, most notable uh, difference we've made in that is that uh, World Series of Drag Racing at Cordova Dragway over here, which is a great event if you're interested in drag racing at all, or motorsports evaluation. So that event is awesome. Uh, but uh, that we used to be two and a half to three hours to get into that facility. Um, they're now in their second cool year on track site, and that weight has gone down to 15 to 20. Hold on, I gotta hear that again. <laughs> I said two hours possibly in the path, now 15 to 20. Like, what does that do for revenue? What does that do for like repeat clients? What does that do for? Uh, I mean, I was out there working the gates with Cordova to you, our amazing people. I mean, they're under new ownership, so they've been willing to change a lot. And we've just been really, really successful with that. And when I'm out there, interactive with their customers, they're just, first, they can't even believe they can pay with a credit card. <laughs> so they've all been trained for so many years. A lot of the ones that have gone forever, and they just have their cash, and they're going to like, oh, I can pay with a card. So, you know, we've got our hand all point of sale units, wireless, and uh, they just streamline all that, make we use so many cars to the gate so much faster. It's hard. Yeah, that's interesting. And you're like, I can pay by credit card? Like, really? Yeah, so, and, and, and notice one thing that Jason said. I know some of the business owners out there caught it. He said when he's out there as a business owner, as a founder, how important that is to deliver and to keep it, to be boots on the ground for your clients. Maybe talk about, about that dedication because you're out there too, right? I am, yeah, and I try to, it gets harder every year, but I try to get to every customer site every year. That's my goal. That's getting increasingly difficult, but I still get to a lot of them. And, and you know what? I spend most of my time in the run game because that's how we improve our product. I want to see how it's being used, what the experience is, both for the staff of the track and then also the customer that's coming and, and be. You know, there's not one silver bullet pack side has to make things better. It's just a thousand money with And that, like, that could be said of probably most any business system, but if you don't get out in the field and get that, experience that each year when you can't play it back to the millimeter roger that's a concept in the alaska guy did like that and uh, be your own bruce customer so as these end operators themselves they you know, we're the boots on his own we know the market we know the issues that we know to solve what we know yeah and in and, and the session that i attended with you um a little while ago where you were getting feedback real time from the track owners so that you could improve the product like and i could see real time this feedback that was leading to things that Jason saying, oh yeah, you know what, well, we can do that. Like, yeah, that's a simple fix. Or maybe that that um, exists, but you didn't know it existed. Like never ending improvement, right? Yeah, but it's never ending a software visit, so that's a little bit. <laughs> All right, Jason. Well, I know you got a whole lot more to do while you're here. I just want to say thank you for making time for us. To the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. This is day one of the three days over at PRI. Any uh, final words on how people can connect and, and follow up and learn more about Trackside or just follow your journey? Uh, so TracksideSystems.com is our website to learn about our product and what we do. And I thought you want to connect with me. I'm on like and because all right, fantastic. And to the audience, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and check us out at missionmatters.com.